Just in case you didn't like the other bob ganoush recipe, here's another one. So I'm putting in two peppers, one purple pepper, one green, all of these little eggplants, two very spicy peppers. I'm gonna slice these up a little bit and I'm gonna coat them in melted butter, put them in the pan, cook them for 10 or 15 minutes, 350, and then we're gonna blend them up with the other ingredients. Well, this is gonna be Bob Ganoush hummus hybrid. I decided to mix in some chickpeas into this to give a little more protein, a little more staying powder. So I wanted to show you, it's about two cups of the green, purple, and spicy pepper here. And I will be measuring the eggplant too, so you know how much of everything there is. And we melted the butter. So this butter is going to be brushed onto the peppers and the eggplant. I just melted all this, dipping this in, brushing it on, because it gives it a little roasted flavor. So when we blend all this up in the blender, it doesn't really taste like raw eggplant and it has a roasted flavor to it. That's why we're doing this for 10 or 15 minutes. And the butter is just a plain unsalted butter. I use cultured butter from Whole Foods. I like butter in my cooking. It has a higher smoke point than olive oil, so the oils supposedly don't get denatured. All right, we'll be back. Eggplant peppers have been roasted at 425. I upped the heat and 2.5 cups of garbanzo beans, three tablespoons of Greek yogurt, two tablespoons of tahini, one teaspoon of salt, and have a cup of cilantro. I'm gonna blend this up and I'm gonna dip the cucumbers and my one tomato that I grow and kale. I'm gonna use this as a dip for kale instead of using gross salad dressings that aren't good for you. Also added in about half a teaspoon of kelp granules for iodine and wow, this is a really good Bob Canoosh hummus. I like things really salty so I'm probably gonna salt this as I eat it. I'll probably add some smoky or spicy penzi salt or some pink salt because I had salt on everything. Greens and meat for my low carb meat eater. 16 ounces of ground meat the ingredients will be listed in the description. So we have this many peppers. This is about two cups of peppers, about two cups of Swiss chard, and I'm gonna say about two cups of green beans. So all of this will be added to the meat. Then I'm gonna take out the meat so we don't over, over, overcook it. And I'm gonna put it in this huge bowl, adding in the green beans and the peppers to the meat. Since the meat has its own flavor, I'm only going to be adding in this black wine salt. And when this is all cooked, it's going to go in this bowl right here. And we're going to cook the rest of the ingredients. So this is extra salted. Thank you, Bobby, for the salt shaker with sea salt going into the bowl. There's not a lot of liquid, so I'm going to add in the Swiss chard and green beans. And I'm also going to add in Bragg's aminos and rice vinegar and butter. All right, so we have the butter added to kale Swiss chard, and why is there a whole tomato? I guess I forgot to cut that, it's kind of funny. All right, bloopers, keeping it real here. Adding that, and adding the rice vinegar, Bragg's aminos, gonna saute this, gonna cover it, uh, mix it around, cover it, mix it around, cover it. Adding the sriracha when it's almost done, and the spicy penzies. I'm also going to add in some of this beef broth by Cattle and Fire just to add a little liquid to get this going. The cover is really important if you're not a seasoned cooker and you're a total novice. I learned this a few years ago. Yeah, a little late to the party. Really helps with the wilting of vegetables. Covering is a game changer. So this has been covered a few minutes. Now I'm going to stir this. This is definitely wilted enough, so I'm just stirring this around. I'm going to cook it at about another minute and then it's almost ready to add the sriracha and the spicy salt and I might even add more pink salt and Himalayan salt. See I don't really eat too much processed food so I don't get salt from crackers and breads and all this other pastas. I'm getting my salt really from the salt that I add because I really don't do a lot of processed stuff so that's why it's probably a little bit more okay to have salt. All right let's add the sriracha. Ooh. Very informal. Sorry if I'm making you dizzy. Super spicy. A lot of sriracha because I'm adding all of this together. The meat and the greens. Ooh, I did 
did it. Tried to make coffee chocolate a couple months ago. Kind of failed. No, definitely failed. So July 4th weekend will be powered by coffee chocolate, watermelon, bananas, and uh, sriracha. Sauteed onions, a little bit of sauteed leeks. Then I added slice or julienne's zucchini. I forgot what it's called for a second. And added sauce. I'm going to add some spicy salt and pink salt. Yo, look at this zucchini. <laughs> this is a zucchini. I'm making this into shreds. And the onions cooking underneath. So it's going to be onions with zucchini flat pasta. Sure. Great job today, Kevin. The great Jim jo Easy, easy. Add olives, sauerkraut, different types of lettuce from the garden. That was an island dressing. Should be using olive oil and vinegar. Very easy. Uh, anorexia type snack so that I can stuff my face later in the week. Commercial. Yeah. Wow. That's a lot of balsamic. Is it? Yeah. I don't know. I feel like it's like perfect balsamic. Let's get clear on this. Let's say that we work together. I made 100 grand, but I didn't make that 900 grand. That 900 grand, or the million that I would make in total, is not just a million because I could have reinvested that into coal traffic ads. I could have reinvested that into making a new hire. Pre made stir fry, boom. Take some of that. And then in the freezer, you always keep in the house, this is what I do rice, cauliflower, frozen peas, frozen corn, pre made teriyaki salmon I made. This is an Italian plum. Interesting, right? And this, uh, so much work, but you know what? It's worth it to feel healthy. Post-workout, pre-script writing, so you gotta be super clear. One giant onion and a bunch of zucchini that's been minced up like this. Julian, what do you call this? I don't know, I'm not a chef. And tomato, so one onion, zucchini, and tomato, all mixed in. Gonna add rayo sauce on top. And gonna add salt. Bobby, thank you for this. Stir it up. Onion, zucchini, tomato with rayo sauce and salt. Mmm, so good. It's, it's really hard to think that something this delicious would be made of onion, zucchini, and tomato. Top with Parmesan. Mm -mm 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 -mm. In this pan, I sauteed a big head of broccoli and one onion. After it was sauteed, I transferred the sauteed broccoli, onion, in water with a little butter to this pan. And I'm going to top it with bacon and throw in the oven. Onion, broccoli, three slices of bacon. Boom. Now you put it in the oven and it gets crispy and it's much better than just sauteed. You know, so, one onion, zucchini, and tomato all mixed in. Get to add rayo sauce on top. And gonna add salt. Bobby, thank you for this. Top with Parmesan. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Stir it up. Onion, zucchini, tomato with rayo sauce and salt. Mmm, so good. It's, it's really hard to think that something this delicious would be made of onion, zucchini, and tomato. Post workout, pre script writing, so you gotta be super clear. One giant onion and a bunch of zucchini that's been minced up like this. Julia, what do you call this? I don't know, I'm not a chef. And to make Oh, it right, makes so. your dick go harder for a long time. Yeah, could you hit that mic? I got about 48 hours to eat garlic and to let it come out of my system. So I'm having my last bit of garlic before Friday's film festival. Tonight's show, second show, Chrissy Mara is a Zoom show. So we got spaghetti squash topped with Parmesan. I added olives. I never do that. And meat, ground meat, a little bit of shredded zucchini, and I added some of this stir fry, which is tomatoes, onions, mushrooms, spinach, lots of salt, pepper, a little adobo, uh, cumin, hot pepper, black pepper, onion powder, garlic salt. This is very flavorful. It can be part of a fat loss diet or maintenance. I added meat. I feel like this, this week it was time to add some meat. So being 100% no meat isn't so great for me in the fall and the winter. All right, people.
I worked out for two and a half hours today and we're walking. So I've eaten one apple and a bunch of different liquids. I'm not going to list the liquids. This is one of the best breaking the fast I've ever had. So I had an apple about an hour and a half ago. Lettuce with ginger dressing. Dirty taco. I'm only going to have one of these tacos. I had one Brussels sprout taco, not shown. And I'm going to have the corn. Cauliflower and onion and two ribs. I have one potato and maybe the third rib. But this, uh... Honestly, I've been staying in pretty damn good shape. My clothes from college fit me. This is a very cool way to break the fast. It's really enjoyable. Oh, and soup, of course. A lot of nutrition for post-workout. And I'm going to sleep like a baby. And then I'll do it again tomorrow. I'll fast for like 14 to 20 hours and stuff my face. It's a pretty good lifestyle. So here's intermittent fasting. It's also called the OMAD, one meal a day. This is one way to do it. You could do better.